Hello, I'm John Paul Casera, and I'm here at Eaton's Manufacturing Facility in Olean, New York. I'm here to welcome you to this year's 2020 competition with Young Manufacturing's Academy, supported by Eaton, to help you learn about science, technology, engineering, mathematics. You've got a great opportunity this year to go ahead and put yourself to test, build a great car, have fun, enjoy the experience. And so without further ado, I hope that from my background, from our company support to you, you go ahead and start those engines and have fun. So the first thing you need to do is find the two longest boards that are in your kit. And the two longest boards are going to be the sides of your cart. So we have those, we'll put those down. The next two longest pieces in your kit are going to be your rear axle. I only need one of those pieces for the frame, and I want the piece that has two center drilled holes in it. The other piece has holes drilled on the end, so we want the piece that has the center drilled holes. And that's going to be the back of the car. Then you need to find a short board that has a hole drilled in the center. This is going to be the front frame, and this hole is where you connect the front axle of the cart. So we need this part. Now you need to find the screws that came in your kit. So we have this bag of long screws and there's enough screws to put the whole kit together. So we need some of the long screws. Now the sides of the cart you want to be on top of your front and back boards. So you want to line these up a little bit. Put the two front sides kind of on your board. Line them up a little bit. Now you want to make sure your cart is nice and straight so it drives nice and straight. So you want to do a little lining up for it once you get all the boards in place. So you don't have to put it apart, take it apart. Okay, like that. So there's the frame for your car. All right, here we have a completed car. And you notice how the frame is attached at the corners of the rear axle. This is how the demonstration car was built. But when I first built the kit, I actually mounted these boards uh, closer in on the axle. And if you notice when you, you screwed in the seats or if you, if you measure the seats before you screw everything together, you'll notice how the seats are kind of at the, their inner edge. This is about as wide a car as you can build. Uh, so one of the ways that you can actually add some modification to your own cart is by how far away you want to mount these side rails. Uh, they are adjustable. If you want to try and make something really skinny, um, just make sure that you can still screw the seat down. If mom and dad are involved and you have access to a saw, maybe you can do some unique modifications of your own. And when we get together in August, we can see what everybody else came up with. So now you're going to have to take a couple of screws and screw it together. And I'm going to use an electric screwdriver to make things a little quicker for me. Okay, so now we've put the frame together. Now everything else is gonna go onto the frame. Hi, I'm Eric Swartout, controls engineer here at Eaton and Olean. And at Eaton, we're all about energy. And your cars are about energy too. That's what makes it move. So we want you to have a fun, safe time building your cars.